Hello everyone, welcome back to Stalker Lost Alpha. I'm currently on my hunt for the key to get into the secret lab right now, and I was going to cut it out entirely, but when I got the key from Petrenko, he said something very interesting. So basically he's saying, you know, good job, you're in my good graces for doing all of this stuff, you're a badass, blah blah blah. But here's the interesting part. Let's see. I've got to warn you before I give you the key to the, la to the lab underneath Rostock. There's a sort of Bloodsucker King down there. And that's why we sealed it off in the first place. It's a damn nest. If you're really going down there, drag that ugly bastard to hell for me, will you? Here's the key, then. They're all yours, Stalker. I've probably pissed him off by killing his children. Might as well finish the job. So, yes, there's apparently some sort of a Bloodsucker King down there. A couple other things I want to do while I'm here. Um... Hey, about that Bloodsucker King. Oh, is that just like the quest, or...? <laughs> Maybe we should name him Dracula or something? I wonder why he's giving me that look. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade my stuff a little bit. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with this gun for a long time because it is damn good. And this one here, this pneumatic compensator, um, says that it offsets the recoil of automatic firing. However, it says recoil plus 15%. And it's in red, instead of green like the others. So, I'm hoping that's just a display bug. But if it's not, then it seems like it actually hurts you. Hurts your weapon. And makes it worse. So I'm going to avoid that one, but uh, let's increase the accuracy here. Cool, that op opens up these two. Yeah, what the hell? This one increases recoil. It says it reduces recoil, but it says plus 31%. Honestly, I'd prefer to lower the recoil rather than get more accuracy, because it's already damn accurate. Ah, it's actually to give it a sniper rifle barrel. That is very cool. Okay, well, I don't want to spend any more money on that. Let's look at the suit. Burn protection. Uh, that doesn't actually say what it does. It'll protect the body in the event that the main suit becomes ruptured. Okay, what does it actually mean, though? I have no idea what that actually does, so I'm actually not going to invest any more money in that. Uh, so yeah, aside from that, I'm just going to get some supplies, which I've already mostly done. I bought a bunch of ammo. So in addition to what I have in my inventory here, I've also got my bar, my hot bar, filled up with lots and lots of ammo. So, not going to run out. I bought all of the energy drinks he sold. Oh, except for these. Forgot about those. Um, I should buy more batteries. Do I need more? I don't... I'm going to regret it if I run out of batteries, so I'm just going to buy more. Whatever, they weigh almost nothing. It's fine. And I accidentally forgot to sell my pistol. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Ooh, silencer. Hold on. The kit includes a set of adapters for weapons of any caliber. That means I could put it on this thing? Hmm. Well, it is pretty cheap and it's pretty light. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and buy that, actually. Let's give it a shot. Although, having a silenced weapon really doesn't matter. Because stealth doesn't really work against people, and obviously you don't really care about remaining silent against mutants. At least I don't. Uh, but yeah, what the hell, I'll buy it anyway. Okay, I'll give that a field to test later on. So, I'm going to run back to where I was before, and I'm going to cut that out, so I'll be right back. Okay. After about a half hour of running, I am finally here. Thank God. This should open. Insert squeaking gate noise that does not exist. There's the bad omen. Alright. In here lies... 
the Bloodsucker King. This should be interesting. Let's hope this lab isn't as big as the last one. rats. Holy crap, there's a lot of rats. Whoa, what's up with that one? What the fuck? It... It's got like... Half of its back is missing. Like, there's, there's no freaking skin on its back. What the hell? I don't like the deep rumble down here either. Makes me uncomfortable. Okay, well the rats are slowly causing the stack of boxes to collapse. Let's take down this box fort. Don't you be nibbling my toes! There's absolutely nothing in these. God, those rats are gonna be annoying. Okay, I can hear there's something behind here, but I can't actually reach here from... from here. So, probably go into that room later. I hear zombies. I think I saw one, too. Hmm. I saw something. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave my lights on constantly because I have... 19 batteries. Yeah, I should be fine. Remember, Bloodsucker King. Well, that's not a Bloodsucker King, but that is a Bloodsucker. Jesus, that went down quick. Let's be careful. Catching them unaware like that is ideal. Otherwise, they go invisible and run around like maniacs. So let's be slow, let's be methodical. Okay, so I can go either way, right? Yeah, let's keep going this way. These are some long, dark tunnels. I hear one running around over here. Do you hear it? It's very faint, but I can hear it. What the fuck is that? Seemed like I caught that one unaware, but it was invisible. Tricky little bastard. Let's put some more ammo up here. I'm glad I brought so much ammo. Let's uh, get rid of most of the AP, except for one of it, because I don't think I'm going to need it.
Are those freaking circuits inside of a locker? What the hell? That's weird. I don't think people do that. Okay, so this is back to the center. So it looks like this whole thing maybe loops around. That's what I'm thinking. No reason to bother breaking those boxes. They almost never have anything. Let's keep going. A scientist and a PDA. That is a perfect place for a bloodsucker to hide. But there's nothing there. Made a run for it. Stash information. Okay. Ooh, that is a nice weapon. Well, it looked nice. The actual stats are freaking terrible compared to what I have. God, this weapon I have is amazing, isn't it? I mean, damn. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, the zombies are banging around, but they're nowhere near me. I'm gonna take this to sell. Take this ammo. This ammo is actually very expensive to buy, as it turns out. Um, do I want the pistol? Sure. I'll leave the ammo. A message to our personnel: mutant attacks have become more frequent, so I've been forced to lock the doors to the lab. The code is forty-five twenty-six. Forty-five twenty-six. Got it. I hear rats. Man, it sounds like there's a lot of those zombies. Stash information, last request. Okay, uh, do I want to take another weapon? Uh, I do have to wait for it. Okay, I'll take some more. Maybe pay for the supplies that I use up going down here. Oops. Okay, the stashes are listed on the map, but not in a usable way. Although it looks like they show on the minimap, yeah, there we go. It's in the top left corner of the minimap. Two of them, actually, really close. Okay. Whoa, the fuck? Jesus, that scared me. It sounded like something going through the vents. Oh my god. Oh god, I don't want to open that. Listen to that. Jesus. <sighs> okay, I'm going to open this and I'm going to toss a fucking grenade in there. Alright, uh, 4526. I, uh, maybe should have saved that for the king. We'll see if I end up regretting that.
Pipes probably won't have anything in them, but just in case. Looks well sealed. That leaves only one way. Combination lock. That'd be the same one, right? Four, five, two, six. God damn it. I'm just going to shoot these. Okay, that was Bloodsucker King Cam, I think. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. The fuck was that? I think a rat hit one of those canisters. There are a lot of these canisters, and I think they're explosive. Maybe. Perhaps I need to use that. Fucking rats. Oh shit. Is that it, or is that just a bloodsucker? I don't know, but here we go. Oh god. That took a lot of shots. I think that may have been the king. I sure hope it was. I don't know how to tell. It looks the same as all the others. Okay, I think this is maybe what I came down here for. Okay, that's uh Veles's part of it. Anyway, I still need to kill the uh still need to kill the bloodsuckers. Let's see, can I read that document? It doesn't seem to show up here, my messages. It's just, it's called Document for Sin, Top Secret. Alright, what was that? It's a PDA of some sort. Hmm. I think it's this one. In this PDA mentioned a customer who ordered expedition to this lab and his contact details through GPS encrypted mobile. But it's quite hard to trace who has this number. What? I don't... what? I don't know what any of that really meant. A customer who ordered expedition to this lab. Okay, so somebody paid people to go into this lab. Okay. But it's hard to trace who actually paid for it. So somebody wanted something from this lab and hired people to do it. And, well, obviously failed. And that, I believe is a screenshot. Perhaps that was one of the alpha screenshots for a stalker. I don't know. Alright, well there's more bloodsuckers. Maybe that wasn't the king. Shit, I hear breathing. Oh, fuck. 
fucking rat. Okay, I guess I did kill the king. Jeez. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore them. They're not worth the ammo. Ah, it's the other side of the rubble. I do... Yeah, I remember hearing... A uh, bloodsucker behind the, the pile of rubble. That must have been it. It was the last one. Okay, we are done here. Let's jump over the pile of rats. Those things are extremely loud. Let's see if I can find my damn way back. Yeah, I think I got it. Wait, did I ever get the stashes? Hold on, I never got the stashes. And I never found the zombies. Where are the zombies that I keep hearing? Okay, one is apparently... Oh, here it is. Oh, an upgraded shotgun. Hmm. The shotgun model has a rifled bore, which greatly increases its accuracy when firing darts or slugs. However, using shot is more difficult, of course. Well, that is worth more than this weapon, and it weighs less, too. So let's dump one of these and take that. Bandages, batteries, let's just take all these supplies, except for the ammo. I don't need that crap. Well, you know what? Hold on. I actually want to fire it a couple times. I'll shoot some rats when I see them. This is the, uh... The Half-Life shotgun. I think. Isn't this what you used in Half-Life? Or something like it. Alright, there's one more here. Is it like up here? Hmm. Wait, where the hell could it be? It looks like it's right here. According to the map. I'm holding down F, but oh wait, what was that? Search the box. Oh, I can search it. Okay. Ooh, X virus antidote. That stuff, it, it costs a shit ton. I'm probably gonna sell one and keep the other. Elite anomaly detector. Ho ho! Hello. This is quite the find. Let's look at all this stuff. I'm gonna hide out in this box here. Chug down all the food. Uh, there's something else. What was it? Oh, yeah, I never tried my silencer. Can I put a silencer on a shotgun? Oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, device intended for the detection of anomalous zones. Uh -huh. Let's see. The range of detection is very high. Combining the simple and advanced detectors in one package, this one is the best way to stay alive in the zone. Sweet. Let's plop that baby on my belt. There we go. Cool. I didn't know there was a better version. A better version than the advanced. What the fuck is that noise? I really don't like that noise. Oh yeah, I found my rat killer. Ooh, those sexy reload noises. Mm. Alright, let's pop the silencer on this thing. There we go. Let's give this some test fires. That sounds significantly less cool. And for that reason alone, I'm probably going to take it off. But uh, I'll keep using it for a little bit. Okay, yeah, so what's with these zombies I keep hearing? I, like, I don't think I missed a doorway, did I?
Let's head back. Yeah, listen to that. Hold on, let me... Oh yeah, the other way. It, it does loop around, but the loop is covered by that gate. So let me go the other way. And that should lead me to them. Yeah, so I gotta go up here. Loop around back to the entrance. There it goes. The entrance is here. Yeah, it's, it's this way. No surprise, there's a bunch of zombies. Let's see if there's anything special here. No, doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright, I'm just gonna leave him. Alright, that was not too bad. Yeah, that Bloodsucker King just seemed to have a bit more health, and that was it. You know, something I actually, uh... miss quite a bit from playing Misery. Is, uh, I just remember being a lot more scared in Misery. And I'm not sure what it what it is about Lost Alpha that's not giving me the same feeling. I think part of it's just that I have too many resources. You know, even on Master Difficulty with the Crosshair Disabled, it's it's still way easier than Misery. And so I don't feel as pressured to conserve my ammo or avoid getting hit because maybe I don't even have a medkit. Or I only have a couple bandages. But, I miss that feeling. I'm still enjoying it a lot, but... I just feel like there's something missing. Okay. Let's see. I've yeah, just got to take the documents to Veli's. Which is going to be really, really far away. Oh god. Oh god, save me more running. It's okay. I have... Six, seven, eight, nine... Energy drinks, so... I should be okay. Alright, I'm gonna do some running and I'll be back when I'm in the area. And we are finally here. Okay. So, have you found the secret documents yet, Stalker? Yes, it was quite a journey. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But here they are. Stalker, you have no idea what this means to us. All we have left is hope. And this gives us more than we could ever pray for. Well, I hope it'll help you in some way. Well, we will know more now about the experiments done on us than we did before. In, re in return for your help, I will give you some information only known by few. There are secret traders in Dead City and Pripyat. They have some equipment that most stalkers dream about. I will tell them about you. And if they are in those areas, you will get a PDA message of their coordinates where you can find them for a limited amount of time. These traders are gifted with strange abilities similar to the legendary Man of Myths. I can't say why they are like that. This requires further investigation on our part. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, so right now my mission is to get out of the mines. But after I leave the mines, what is my mission going to be? Am I going to have to go to Dead City? Or something like that and look for one of these traders? Alright, I do want to sell this junk on the ground, though. How much money do you have? Jeez, you got pretty much nothing. Let's see if we'll buy this crap. Ah, it doesn't have enough money. What about this one? There we go. Something.
Okay, well, I have a plan now, not just to leave the mines, which I, of course, have to do, but I'm going to take this gas can, and I'm going to take it for a reason. And that reason is, someone told me something that makes me really, really excited. Apparently, God damn it! weird noise, go away, you're interrupting me. Let's start running outside. Apparently, in the area outside of here, on the road, I believe, there are actually usable cars. Running cars. Which, given how much hellish running back and forth I've had to do, I would love a car so much. So I'm going to go try to find one, which is why I took the gas can. And if I find one, I am going to baby it, and I'm going to take care of it, and I'm going to polish its rims every single day. And I think I'm going to make some gun runs with it, too. Because I can imagine... I can just imagine... in Yantar need someone who is good enough to help them with a problem, and I thought of you. Go and talk to Sakharov, and you will be rewarded for this. Plus, maybe they can help fix your PDA, which may help you remember more about your past. Hmm. Go, uh, get to Dark Delina. Where was that again? That's the forest. I remember I saw the entrance to it somewhere. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Well, probably more than a minute. Anyway, what I was saying before. So not only would a car help me obviously travel around these very long distances, which is driving me crazy and I'm burning a lot of money buying tons of energy drinks to do it as well, but something I could do that I can't really do now is I can I can basically do loot runs because I could drive up drive a car to a place that has a lot of people that are enemies to me like the military for example which are all over here kill them and then just stuff all of their loot into the trunk and then sell it which sounds very appealing to me I can just imagine guns bursting out of my trunk what the fuck is behind me oh god Okay, I'm safe now. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Not just to drive around, but just to ferry loot back and forth. I wonder how much you can fit in the trunk. Okay, so this is what I spotted that looks like it might be usable. Look at that. I don't know about you, but that looks like a usable Jeep. It's not rusty. It looks like it's... Hell, it looks brand new, really. Whoops. Please work, please work. Even if it's out of fuel, that's fine. I've got a gas can. Huh? 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 I'm not seeing... Wait, oh, oh? <gasps> yes! <gasps> Does it have fuel? It has full fuel! Holy shit! How come I can't leave? Oh, there we go. Okay, and does the trunk work? No? What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait, so you don't actually... Hold on, I just discovered something. You don't press F when the game tells you to press F. Like, look here. Uh... There we go, it says... Okay, now it works. Okay, well, there's some spots where you can look and it says press F. And you press F and it doesn't work. But if you press F on this thing right here, basically then it works. Uh, Alright, that's really, really strange. Okay, well, let's stuff my loot in here. Everything I don't need. Put the fuel in there. Uh, it's pretty much it. I kind of want to keep everything else on me. There we go. Look at this. I don't even need to buy a freaking vehicle. They're just here. Beautiful Jeep. 
close the door. Start the engine. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I feel like fighting. I'm itching for a fight and I want to stuff this truck full of loot. So I remember I saw a bunch of, I think, military down around here. So let's go pay them a visit, shall we? And let's collect some loot. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The rear view mirror is broken. I can't drive this piece of shit. Fuck this. Get me out of here. I'm walking. Okay, I'll get back in it. But ho actually, hold on. Is that drivable? Now I'm curious how many drivable vehicles are here. That actually might be drivable. Oh my god. There's so many vehicles here. And they're fully fueled. Damn. Okay, well, if my uh, Jeep ever gets completely busted, I can just come back here. That's really, really weird. I mean, the reason I didn't even think to look for drivable vehicles out in the world is because I think somewhere in the mod, like, somewhere in the description or the readme or whatever for the mod, it said that you pretty much have to buy vehicles because any vehicles, any running vehicles left out in the world would have been captured by, like, bandits and stuff. You know, because they're valuable, obviously. Which is why I didn't even think to look for them, so it kind of invalidates the whole buying a car thing. Because you can just find them. I mean, you might be able to buy something that you can't actually find on the road, like one of those APC armored vehicle things I believe you can buy for 300000 But still, that's weird. I mean, I'm happy that I've got a car, but it seems too easy. Nonetheless, I'm glad I have it, because there are some pretty insane distances you have to travel. And I'm hoping a gas can will fill my gas meter up pretty much all the way. Whoa, hold on. I'm not sure if those are anomalies or artifacts. They kind of look like artifacts. For some reason I have trouble getting out. Uh, no, I don't open... Whoa, what the hell? Uh, there seems to be some metal webbing connected to the door. I must investigate. I think somebody rigged up the animation incorrectly and connected a, I suppose, polygon or something that should not have been connected to that. Because I don't think that's how that works. Hmm. But yeah, I can't reliably get out of the vehicle for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Alright, I want this vehicle to be close, but not too close that they start shooting at the vehicle or me inside of it. Okay, hold on. That's weird. I thought before I could have my weapon out while I was driving, but it seems like I can't now. Hmm. Alright, let's drive it a little bit closer. I'll leave it right here. What the heck is that? It's... My Jeep has a, a wart. Okay, armor piercing. And let's go ahead and set this to single-shot mode. Let's do this. Let me just confirm that these are enemies. I believe they are. But I want to make damn sure before I start shooting them. Yep, they are. Okay.
Oh, oh yeah, he saw me. All right, here we go. Hold on. This silencer makes it sound uncool, so let's dismount it. They know where I am, it doesn't matter. There's an awful lot of them. Can't even see him, he's in the bush. Never mind, no he's not. Okay, that is looking on the map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I saw him on the map before I saw him in the real world. The real fake world, I mean. Oh God! One shot, one kill. Damn. That was a good shot. Alright, any more? I think my map would tell me if there were more. But nonetheless, let's look around. Oh, wait, there's some. Well, there's one. And his back is to me. Oh, never mind. I hear talking, too. Somewhere. Someone's yelling. Hold on, are there snipers up there or something? Well, it's a sniper's nest, but there's... oh wait. Okay, there's someone up there. What if I can go out to the boat? Alright, either there's more people down below me, or this guy's mumbling to himself. Yeah, no, there's more down there. You know, now is the perfect time to put on a silencer. Well, so much for that. I guess he heard the bullet whizzing past his head. Oh. oh, nice shot. Damn. I started firing, but it was too late. He's looking right up at me the whole time. It's like, I think there's another guy. I don't think the guy I saw down there made it all the way over to where I just shot the guy. Look down, and sure enough, what do you know? Oh, wow. That was a good shot. <laughs> yeah, let's just take the silencer off. It doesn't really matter, and it just makes it sound like crap. Alright, so there's one more, right? Unless that was the other guy. Hmm.
Alright, I think that's it. I kind of want to check out these boats. Like, I wonder if I can go over there. Now I gotta start collecting and start uh, shoveling some stuff into my truck. So what, you know, what has a value and what doesn't? Weapons, ammo, kinda. Well, this, this ammo, definitely, because I use it. Uh, salami, or whatever the hell it is, certainly does not. Whoa, there's one contact showing on my map somewhere. Doesn't say where, it just says one. Oh, there was another one, you. Take some bread, that's the lightest food. At least that I've found so far. Ooh, energy drink, sweet. Alright, let's go get the sniper nest, dude. Oh, there's some more down there. There's like no cover, shit. Alright, I guess I'm gonna hide behind this pole. Alright, here we go. That could have been the guy from up above, or there might be more. Oh, I heard a cough. I heard a cough. There's someone else. Oh shit, it's him. Did, wait, did I shoot him? I mean, it sounds like he's sick or he's been shot, but I don't think I shot anyone up there, did I? Let's go take a look. Oh, I wish I could read it. Can't read the note. I guess he got shot somehow. <coughs> Could I give him a medkit even if I wanted to? No, I can't. All right, there's, there's something to do, but put him out of, put him out of his misery. <laughs> oh God, that was not a dignified death. I'm sorry. I I didn't know he'd fall through the freaking floorboards. Even I can't go through the floorboards. I really like this scene here. This, uh, a beach here with all of these sunken boats. Some of them sunken, some of them just rusting and falling apart. It's a graveyard of the sea. Take a look in here for any supplies. There's some food. I don't care. Is that an oh energy drink? I'll take you. And yeah, I need to continue looting stuff and stuffing it into my car. Aww. Very close to being overweight. So I think I need to take all my current loot back to the car and let's load it up. Ooh, almost ran into that. Oh yeah, by the way, I should mention, I actually took the advanced detector off my belt and here's why. 
Let's put it back on. Okay, for some reason with these, it's not making the noise it was making before. Um, but before, anytime I got near something, it was making the most obnoxious beeping noise. It detects more things, but even the, you know, even easy stuff to spot, and stuff that's easy to avoid, was making this obnoxious sound, so I'm actually not going to use it. I'm going to have to remember where I put my car, too, because it doesn't show up on the map. Alright, let's go ahead and move it closer. Let's put everything in the trunk first. This is so cool. <gasps> Look at this. I'm a gun runner. Anything else to put in here? Um... I don't think I'm ever going to use the silencer. Now that I've used it a bit, I don't think I will. Um, let's see, well I haven't needed my gas mask anywhere. Even in the place that I was told that I did need it, I didn't actually need it. So I'm going to store that in there. And uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll put the grenades in there. should have sold those probably. Harmonica? Why the hell do I have a harmonica? Alright. Let's drive on up and collect some more. Let's not go too fast. I don't want to break this thing. Oh, hold on. I should probably close my door before I shear it off. If that's even possible. God, it is so cool that you can drive a car. I still can't get over how cool it is. I think we're going to make a lot of money this way. Ooh, stash. And an artifact. You know, I forgot to check their weapons for ammo before I stashed them away. Should have done that. I think I picked up the weapon. This is a really badly designed room. What jackass architect made it so you can barely walk in the door before you hit your face against the, uh, the stall? Okay, who's left? I think that just leaves a couple more. The dude in the bushes. And... Did I get everybody from over there? Or did I just loot him from here? I don't remember. I think I got him over there. I think I did. And then there's this guy here who's in a rather dangerous spot. Okay, I'm a little bit overweight at this point. My stamina is terrible, but it doesn't matter. What the hell is that? Why are the polygons of my headlight stretching through my wheel well and down into the ground? The fuck? There's something wrong with my Jeep's polygons. I might have to trade it in for a different car that doesn't defy the laws of physics. And cause some sort of a quantum rift. We'll see. Let's see if any of these can be unloaded. There we go. Okay, man, that's a lot of guns. Whoa. Why does my car bounce when I do that? I hope it doesn't explode. Please don't explode.
Yeah, this is beautiful. I wonder if there's a weight limit and... I wonder if you, the more loot you have in it, the more gas it takes up. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Oh, hold on. There's a uh, stash actually inside of here. Oh, it's this table. Neat. Pripyat beer. I'll leave the ammo. Don't really care about it. Well, driving these vehicles is already hard enough. I don't really intend to drink and drive, so let's stuff the beer in the trunk. Okay. Move it in style. This is awesome. Oh, look at all these stashes back here. Hmm. Should I go check them out? I mean, they have neat stuff, but they usually don't have stuff really worth all that much. Um, let's check one of them out. That was a hard stop. I just pressed uh, slow down and it kind of spun me out. Yeah, I forgot about these things. Damn, I completely forgot about them. I think these are the things I saw, and I was wondering if they were anomalies or artifacts. It appears they're artifacts. Wrenched. Increases rupture resistance, and... Increases radiation as well. I think I have an anti-radiation. Don't I? Yeah, minus 10. Now, 1% to rupture isn't really worth a damn, though, so I think these are better off sold. I, I don't think they're worth the weight. Oh, hello. That one was definitely worth it. Yeah, those are some really good supplies. I guess instead of selling water and, like, bread and stuff, I guess I'll just store it in my vehicle. Same with, like, extra ammo and things like that. Because I only really need one water on me, and it's relatively heavy. Same with bread, just one. Let's put the silencer in here, weapon. God, this is so cool. This is so cool. <gasps> what the hell? Apparently the attitude of the vehicle to me is enemy. Jeez. I didn't think I was that bad of a driver. Apparently it hates me. Also, apparently it's sentient. Yeah, I've got a shit ton of ammunition. There we go, three standard, three AP. I suppose I'll just store the rest in here. Whoops, I just, shit, what did I just put in there? Uh, I don't know what I just transferred. Was it my binoculars? I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. Ah, this is so cool. Alright, let's get the rest of the stashes. Helps to start the engine if you want to go somewhere. Gonna shut off the engine so I can coast for a bit. It is much more fuel efficient. I have a fuel canister, of course, but I don't want to push it. Let's not be greedy. Hand underscore radio. And by taking that, I apparently blew it up. Some grenades. Don't care about four bits of ammunition. Medkits, though, I will gladly take. Thank you. 
Not sure if this radio is going to be useful at all. Can I use it? Nope. Maybe need it for a quest or something. I'm just going to store it in here for now. Seems like grenades. Okay. It's weird how the car makes no sound, like pretty much no sound at all, when you have the engine off. Like, not even the tires make sound. Strange. Simple anomaly detector. Yeah, not worth it. That pistol's also really bad. Oh well. Pistol's a pistol. Did I get anything else I wanted to sell? I guess I'll store my advanced anomaly detector in here, because I don't think I'm going to use it. Alright, I kind of have too many medkits too, and they weigh quite a bit, so let's store... Uh, I'll go down to 10. You know, honestly, I probably don't need that many. Let's go down to 5. There we go. Man, my weight is being managed really, really well. Down to 30 out of 50. I mean, the lowest I got before when I had a good amount of supplies on me was, I think, about 35. That was enough to make me feel like I was prepared for everything. But now with this car, man. This is so cool. Actually, I'm going to save my game, and I should probably save it when I'm not in the car, because I, I don't know. If you load a game when you're in a car, I just suspect that it sounds buggy. Like, I really suspect that would cause some weird problems. Maybe not. But I'm just imagining myself spawning back in the world. And, like, instead of being in the driver's seat like I was before, I'm kind of clipping through the car and then, like, everything explodes. I don't know, it just sounds messy. So I'm actually going to end this episode here. Uh, that was a very successful episode. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff. There's a lot of annoying running at the beginning to get that damn key. But now I have a freaking car, and I've filled it up with all sorts of supplies and stuff to sell, which is incredibly cool. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will take my beautiful Jeep. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'll take my beautiful Jeep, and I suppose head to Dark Delina.